Thoughts, yes, parents. Hope you guys had a great week. We're at the end of another week here at Fairfield Christian School. Uh, a full five-day week this week as opposed to last week with just four days. Uh, last Friday, we did have a teacher in service. Uh, we brought in a professional to uh, talk to us and teach us and educate us as teachers uh, how we can better educate your kids. Uh, we had sessions on brain-based learning, on uh, filling learning gaps, on student engagement. Uh, so there was a lot of learning taking place. And those things are important for us as educators because uh, we want to be able to model this idea of being lifelong learners. And so we need to be engaged in that ourselves and that helps us hopefully engage the students with that. So we had a great day of learning for, uh, for, for educators and we're, we learned a lot of different things. That, but beyond that, we also got a lot of resources that we can continue to use and hopefully uh, further expand our knowledge and our skills with these students as we move forward as well. Uh, so it was a great day last Friday. Uh, I want to get into a few more calendar things, but before I do that, there is one very important thing I want to talk to you guys about today, and that is the internet and your kids. Uh, listen, this week I've had to deal with a couple different situations of kids inappropriately using the internet. Not here at school. Let me, let me stress, not here at school, at home. Uh, and in each case, it involved several FCS students. Uh, parents, uh, it is your responsibility to constantly monitor what your child is doing online. I'm talking on their computers, on their video games, on their video game consoles, and on their phones. Uh, parents, you should be checking your child's text messages probably at least every other day. Uh, you need to be seeing what's going on there, who they're texting, who they're talking to, what their language is like uh, when they're using that. Uh, where are they going online? What are they doing? Uh, you should be constantly monitoring that. You should be checking their history all the time to know exactly where they've been and what they've been doing. Uh, I hear kids talk about things that they're looking up. The kids are not subtle. They talk about things all the time. We hear it. Uh, and I can tell you there's a lot of places that kids are going online and I'm like, what? How are you ever allowed to view that online? And quite honestly, it's because nobody is supervising them. Nobody is accountable for where that child is going, what they're doing online. Even games like Roblox and Animal Crossing, where they have access to other people and other people have access to them and are they, they, you don't know who they're talking to when they're playing these games. And let me tell you, there is no fouler language than from an eight-year-old online. I know, I've heard it. I've played games online where I've been cussed out by an eight-year-old. And I'm like, what is going on right now? First of all, games that eight-year-olds probably shouldn't be playing in the first place, but they're, they feel emboldened by the fact that they can't see the other person. There's this technology between them and the other person, and they'll say things and do things online that they would never do in real life. But here's the thing, our kids are hearing that language and they're bringing that language back with them. I know because I've heard it. And that is unacceptable. Kids are not mature enough. I'm talking about elementary kids. Obviously, middle school, high school kids, a little more responsible. They should be given a little more freedom. But elementary students, there's no way they should have unfettered access to the internet. Uh, I, I war I'll warn you about things like YouTube. Uh, even they have YouTube kids, right? Well, let me tell you, I've watched many of the things on YouTube kids. Uh, your kids are being indoctrinated to various ideas and concepts that are not, not biblically acceptable. You need to be very careful what your kids are watching online, what they're doing online. Again, they should, you should be the one controlling what they're viewing online. There should be strict restrictions, strict on what they're able to view and where they're able to go. Uh, parents, this is incredibly important. Uh, physically, there's places that you definitely would not allow your child to go. Well, there's just as dangerous places digitally online, and you need to be monitoring that. Again, you should be checking your child's browser history all the time. You should know who they're talking to and what they're saying. You should be checking their phone. By the way, at night, or really anytime they're at home, they should not have their phone in their bedroom. They should not have their phone in their bedroom. They should not have access to the internet in their bedroom at any time. No internet access in their bedroom. It is a private place, and that's where temptation steps in, and that's where they do things where they should not. Anytime they use their phone or the internet, it should be in a public place where anybody can have access to what they're doing. In addition, parents, turn off your Wi-Fi at night. Whether it's 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever it is, turn off the Wi-Fi, because I will tell you, there are many students here at school that they wait till their parents go to bed, and they get up in the middle of the night, and they're playing video games or getting online in the middle of the night. I just heard from a student just the other day, they were up till 3 a.m. online.
because that was when their parents were asleep. I would also make sure you know all of your children's accounts, what they have accounts with, and I can guarantee you, we've got some kids that have some secret accounts that you don't know about. Parents, you must be much more diligent in watching your children and what they're doing online. The internet is not a babysitter. It's not. Please monitor what your kids are doing. I don't know how much more strongly I can say it. All right, rant over. Parents, please check your kids. All right, uh, we've got a lot of things coming up on the calendar over the next few weeks. Uh, first one is March 31st, right here on campus in the sanctuary. We're going to have our FCS worship night. So it's a night of coming together to glorify God. Uh, and this is a student-run event. Uh, obviously, there's oversight with myself, Mr. T, and some other people as well. But and so we're kind of overseeing that. But this is a student led events and so our high school chapel leadership team will be leading worship that night uh will be times of worship we'll have some prayer points throughout the evening it's going to be a good time of coming together and just worshiping god we'll start at 7 p.m again right here on campus friday march 31st uh, this is open to everybody students parents friends family invite anyone you want i want to pack this place out uh, it's going to be, uh, I'm already looking forward to a great night. The kids are getting ready. They're preparing, uh, putting together set lists. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be a great night. Again, invite whoever you'd like. Come out here at 7 p.m. on Friday, March 31st. We'll have a great time worshiping God together. All right, and then after that, we've got Easter break. Uh, remember, that's uh, 10 days that we have off. So Friday, April 7th, that's Good Friday. No school on Good Friday. Then obviously uh, that weekend is Easter. And then the following week, we are also off that week. So we're off from the 7th through the 16th. And we're back to school on April 17th. So make sure spring break is on your calendar. And then after that, uh, just two weeks after that, would be our spring production. So that is April 27th. Uh, it's going to be another great night. It's a Thursday night, and that'll take place at Journey Downtown in Vacaville. Uh, it's going to be a great night. So we've got a drama club performing. We've got a couple other cubs, clubs performing that night as well. So um, it's going to be a great night of uh, really celebrating the artistic endeavors of our students here at Fairfield Christian School. So we're looking forward to that night as well. And as always, make sure you're getting our newsletter uh, that's sent out every weekend, every Sunday. Uh, our newsletter comes out through email. But also, make sure you're checking our website and make sure you're downloading our school app uh, all the updated information will be there as well. Okay, hope you guys have had a great week. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Hope to see you real soon, maybe at the FCS Worship Night on March 31st. God bless. <laughs>